Um, your administration has deported a record high number of 1.5 million undocumented immigrants, more than your predecessor. And I know your administration took some steps last year to protect unintended undocumented immigrants from being deported. However, many people say that those efforts weren't enough. What I'd like to know is what you're going to do now until the time immigration reform is passed to ensure that more people are not being deported and families aren't being broken apart. Well, uh, look, Jackie, this is something that I've struggled with uh, throughout my presidency. The problem is, is that um, you know, I'm the president of the United States. I'm not uh, uh, the emperor of the United States. Uh, my job is to execute laws that are passed. And Congress right now uh, has not changed what I consider to be a broken immigration system. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, is that we have certain obligations to enforce the laws that are in place, even if we think that in many cases the results may be tragic. Uh, and what we have been able to do is to make sure that we're focusing our enforcement resources on criminals as opposed to somebody who, who's here just trying to work and look after their families. Uh, what we have tried to do is administratively uh, uh, reduce the, the burdens and hardships on families being separated. And what we've done is obviously pass a deferred action, which made sure that the, dream, uh, uh, you know, the, the dreamers, young people who were brought here and think of themselves as Americans, are American except for uh, their papers, that they're not deported. Having said all that, we've kind of stretched uh, our administrative flexibility as much as we can. And mm -hmm. that's why making sure that we get comprehensive immigration reform done is so important. Uh, and frankly, my goal is to make sure that we get that done in the next four or five months. And the reason is, is be precisely because uh, every day that we wait, every week that we wait, every month that we wait, there are going to be some stories that break our hearts. And more importantly, we're going to continue to have an economy that is stifled by a really inefficient system where not only uh, are we deporting folks, but we also have a legal immigration system that is so bottlenecked that it forces sometimes people into the illegal system. It prevents us from recruiting and keeping uh, top flight engineers and uh, tech people who are ready to work here or invest here, but because the legal immigration system is so broken, we're not uh, able to attract them. And so oftentimes we train them here and then we send them uh, back to their countries of origin uh, to start businesses there. The good news is I think the, the opportunity for immigration reform has never been higher. We're seeing some good bipartisan uh, discussions and possible legislation. And, and my hope uh, is that we can actually get this done in the next few months.